Well, joining us today is Amy Houlihan, the beauty editor of New Zealand Women's Day, who's got the best options to get that celebrity glow. Welcome, Amy. Thank you very much, Mel. So we're talking all about blush. This is what your Women's Day article is about this week. Mm -hmm. uh, where to, how to, what to, all of those sorts of things. Why exactly. should we be wearing blush? Well, blush is, um, it makes us look fresh, young, radiant. Often when you put your foundation on, uh, you're all one colour. Yeah. So putting a bit of uh, more colour in your cheeks really brings your face to life and look young and fresh and radiant. Excellent, because with no blush you do look a little bit you look like a, a bit dead. A little bit like a corpse exactly. is what I was going to say. Yeah. So you brought in some options for us. Talk yeah. me through what's what and which is best. Okay, so I think the most foolproof way of getting some blush is to use a powder blush. Okay. Um, swirl it on with a really good brush and just was it round and apply to your apples of your cheeks. Okay, so you've got two here. Which colour is the best colour suited? Okay, for most complexions, you're looking at a soft pink or a coral. That will suit most people. Okay. Yeah, women with a slightly darker skin tone can go a little bit deeper, but on the whole, everyone's going to suit a soft pink. Right, so the powder one is everybody's friend. What mm -hmm. about this one over here? Okay, so this is a cream. This is great for women who perhaps have a little bit of dry skin. Yes. Um, it's another added dose of moisture that you need when you've got slightly dry skin. You'll apply it with your ring finger and tap it into your cheeks in a circular motion and blend it all up. Okay, so that gives you a nice little healthy glow as well. Exactly. Okay, so, and what about this one here? This one looks a little bit intimidating. Okay, so a liquid blush uh, is even more sheer and thin, and it's great for women who just want a real light tint. So you just pop it on over your foundation and then blend it very quickly because it does dry really fast. Okay, otherwise you're going to get these big red streaks exactly. on your face. Exactly, a really ideal. nice sheer flush of colour. Okay, so those are the basic ones. So you would recommend a, uh, a powder one for most people. That'll be the best yeah, thing that's going to suit. that's pretty foolproof. Let's talk about face shapes then. How do I okay. put it onto my face to, so I don't look like a clown? Okay, so most people fall into one of five categories, right. um, certain shapes, and we've got a great celebrity um, example here. Okay. Um, so we've got Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. Right, I mean, you can't is. really go wrong with an oval face shape. Right. Um, there's lots of nice uh, balanced structures so you can actually put your blush anywhere you like on an oval face shape you're lucky okay yeah great so that's easy oval yep. face shapes we like those and this one here okay kim has got a slightly longer face so what we want to do is put our blush on the outside of your temples a little bit more to widen the face in the middle so you don't look quite so long okay a little bit to the edge that seems mm -hmm. that seems relatively easy kim kardashian yep. right yep. so that's a long face that's a long Who's face our next celebrity face we've got olivia wilde here and she has got a slightly square yeah, she face is, isn't she? Yep. Really quite square a strong jaw, jaw. So you want to concentrate your blush on, on the apples of your cheeks there, um, and that will take the heat off the right. quite defined so jaw. So you do the smile and you find the exactly apples of your Exactly right, and it softens it up nicely. Right, and our last yeah. one here is Reese with a spoon. Yeah, and she's got a classic heart-shaped face, so you want to apply your blush in sort of a C shape on your temples um, to kind of soften your forehead and create lovely cheekbones. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. So just right. very, very quickly, uh, for older skins, which would you recommend, okay. a cream or a powder? Um, I think a matte powder for older skins would work really well. Um, it's flattering, but it's not too disco ball, shiny, luminous. Okay, no, we don't want disco ball, We don't ball, want anything settling into fine okay. lines. That has been enlightening. Thank you so much for My that, pleasure. Amy. Hopefully, everyone at home can get that celebrity glow right now.